we introduced our new glass tattoo stencil system at an art glass demonstration days where it was a big hit. We created a 12 inch diameter jack -o witch plate and here's how we did it. Oh, wow, yeah. Yep, little suction cup. Okay, so this is the glass. That's the glass that I used. Yeah, that's what's in there. All right, so I'm going to situate that kind of similar to that one. You can leave that right on there, just like there that. There you go, just like that. So, yeah, leave it there. That's things, like so I'm going to grab this stuff here that I've already scraped off, and I'm just going to put it right back in there because the witch's face it has to be a little bit green, a little bit orange. And you've got this. Look at that. We're going to add some more to it. So now all I'm doing is just making sure that it is level to the top edge of the stencil. Because remember I said before that we're mixing it 50% of the goo and 50% of the, of the powder. So this is an eighth of an inch thick stencil, so you're going to be left with a sixteenth of an inch of powdered glass, which is how you get that really nice deep colors like that. If you only had really thin stencils, they're a thirty-second of an inch, you don't have a sixty-fourth of powder. It's not enough, so you're not going to get the deep colors. So you see, I keep the knife fairly flat, just a little bit of an angle on it, so that I'm getting the top of that stencil nice and, nice and flat. Alright, we got that guy ready. Now we're going to put the hat on him. So the nice thing is, is that you can do this, all these multicolors, all in the same step. Because you can control it pretty well with this knife. It's surprising how you can really make sure that you don't get it into those other spaces. All right, let's put some yellow in this part. And I'll put the green in here. Throw a little bit of color in there, just to kind of let it blend in, so that the hat is kind of blending in with the rest of it. All right. So now we have that ready to go. So you don't have to clean off the, the excess before you nope. lift it up. No, nope. you don't really want to do that. You don't need it that clean because all you're going to do now is pick it straight up. Careful. Oh, clever. So the neat thing is, is that this whole thing, you can do this. <laughs> Can't do that with Fritz, can you? Nope. So now, from this point, then you can you can do all kinds of, of uh, additional manipulations. For instance, this is a witch, right? So she's got to have a ward or two, right? Sure. So let's give her a run right in here. And another one down here on her chin. Later that day, we finished it off with some curly cues from the vitrograph and added some border pieces to create this beautiful 12-inch diameter fully fused design disc. From here, we could place it back into the kiln for a shape firing to create a plate or a bowl. The glass tattoo stencil system is a very simple process, yet it enables any fuser to create beautiful and intricate designs simply and easily.